Binary Jazz. It's a podcast about, well, we'll find out. Uh, I am here, as always, with everyone in the world. Uh, everyone in the world consists of myself, <laughs> Jazz Sequence on the internet, Chris in real life occasionally, uh, and my friends Gary, who's probably over in that direction. I'm pointing to this over here. It doesn't matter because if you're listening on audio, um, uh, who's Gary? Uh, uh binary gary on the internet <laughs> and allison who's down here uh and is allison plus on the internet like north and west of you and i'm east of you i don't you're in a straight yes. line to me in i'm ge- in the middle in, in geography those things are true yeah which way is east from you right now chris i need to know east is allison east is looking directly that at your way camera? Oh, wow. Okay. So. I'm basically facing you. Lo- this is yeah. so weird because the interaction for me is actually like you both pointed roughly the same direction at your cameras and east is that way. So like you're, <laughs> you're oriented. We're all oriented facing east. Well, except for you who's oriented right. facing west so that east is behind you. Yeah. Which makes yeah. sense because we're both westerly. But now I'm like, what is sneaking up behind? Like, let me know if something's sneaking up from the east, please. <laughs> Uh, I don't know how to respond to that. No. Uh, uh, we in case you're new, we've been together in a while. It's good to see you all. Yeah, yeah. I feel in case like you're I new feel like a podcast. Uh, a this is a show where today, uh, someone comes up with a topic, and Gary and I just talk over each other. Uh, and <laughs> <laughs> like most meetings I attend. And uh, Gary and I try to figure out. Oh, uh, usually it's Allison that brings a topic. If it's not Allison, then it's someone else. Um, and then the other Someone people on the show, though, right? Tr- tries like we're to not open out to external topic, topic submissions, are we? We're doing that thing again, or we're just talking over each other. And nobody can hear anything. It's awesome. How would it work if someone submitted a topic and we didn't know? I guess would we look it up at the end? I, I don't know. That's what I'm panicked about. Yeah, like he said, someone brings a topic. Like, but it probably I mean, has we to did, be one of the three of us. We did put saying. it out there uh, at the very beginning as we started the podcast that if people want to suggest topics that we didn't know anything about, that we would talk about those things. Uh, currently, In hindsight, that's a funny strategy. It is because like no one knew we existed at that point. Well, that's true. <laughs> and it's so uh, also, different now. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. That's where I was going. Um, we do have a quite a lot of Russian spam that we could talk about. <laughs> I think we've covered the spam segment today, honestly. <laughs> have we? Spam and genitalia. What? Spam I was just calling up the name for my new album. Can I just show off my new mug? It was made by this. I you did. Because <laughs> when, when you took a drink out of a minute ago, it looks to me um, a little uh, like acorn in nature. It feels really fall. I like it. It's... It's made by this uh, local potter who lives like two blocks away from me. And I was saying that I was going to go buy a mug and a really good friend of mine contacted her and was just like, basically bought a mug on my behalf and then just told me to drop by and pick out a mug. Um, So yeah, this is my new mug. Lovely. I, I don't think we should jump over uh, the Russian spam. Uh, I'm, I'm translating, it's too good, huh? I'm translating it at the moment, and yeah, it, it's 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 pretty good. I speaking of of spam, uh, I learned a new mess. I learned a new word uh, in the last uh, week or since we recorded last, because I've been doing all my new training stuff. There's a, there's a word. There's a word for those uh, spam text messages that you get, uh, and it's called smishing. Hmm. And that makes me uncomfortable. <laughs> right? Uh, and the spam the episode is not great so far. The spam, <laughs> the spam voicemail messages that you get is called vishing. No. It's true. No, there it's are not. words. There are words. I'm not for Googling these that. I'm not adding to the vernacular by even acknowledging that those letters together would be considered a word. And and one of the one of the videos that I that I watched uh, one of the training videos on yeah on on uh, on internet security, um, it had a well known hacker dude Kevin Mitnick I guess oh yeah yeah uh, and it had you know, I use computers these days was that 
Is he allowed to use computers now? Because part of his parole was that he was right. not allowed to use a computer. You remember uh, he, I don't, I don't, I don't know even, but I know that he, he wasn't talking. No, he was using a computer. He was because he was showing how you could um, uh, inject, you could get access to all of the accounts on a computer through a hacked uh, ICS file. It's pretty cool. Like you could get a um, whole payload of like usernames and passwords um from like everyone on the network so he hasn't retired yeah this, no he's, to, <laughs> yeah, he's 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 a white hat um anyway it that was that was interesting but the more interesting one was i can't remember her name uh, i could probably look it up but she was uh an expert in um what's it called uh uh the uh where you pretend to be someone else where you pretend to be a, a catfishing yeah it is a um it's a word though it's sort of like that um Fishing. <laughs> um oh, man the 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 does it have to end in ifing the, the no it doesn't end in ifing uh it, it, the name the word escapes me basically uh she would uh social social identity social, fraud sort of but not not that um Social engineering, there. Uh, she was an expert at social engineering. So she would um, uh, she would send out these text messages and then uh, and she talked about like how these things are are sent and like um, you know like you send out a text message and you say that you're you know the CEO of the company. Uh, you find out all the information about the person that that you're is your target and you uh and you send them a text message and say that you're ceo of the company and you can't get to a phone you're using a borrowed phone or something and and send me all of this stuff right now it's super urgent i need to get to this the i'm like late for a plane or something you you you, you add there there has to be an element of urgency in there but and, and that that's all like interesting but like the way that she said these things was super like like uh super smug like she kind of had a smirk the entire time and she was like really amused by all so it was it was hilarious to watch her talk about like, well i could do this and then i would do this and then i would do this and she's like kind of like patting herself on the back a little bit um in her australian accent and uh Come out. Come out. just for a second for context this was like part of your onboarding yeah okay yeah because there's all this stuff about about like internet security and, and whatever and so like like don't like with the idea i guess that now that i'm an employee of this new company that i'm gonna get like catfished um like people are gonna try to to smish me uh to gain company insights oh don't like that <laughs> um all right so i'm still translating all of the cool russian stuff uh this is the last one there's four new russian spam uh, smishing what is it when it's email i guess it's just spam if it's email um all right so all of these well i guess the first two are a combination of russian and english and the second two are all russian uh the first one translated into english <laughs> i think you are making a mistake i can defend my position email me at pm we'll talk he is definitely right. And then it says FNIA. And then it says Android, Android, gingerbread. And then in Russia and here, Android camera. Gingerbread, so good. <laughs> the it's, it's, um, one. <laughs> it's like the gingerbread thing reference to the old Android operating system, do we think? probably 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 oh. i mean that makes the most sense it, when i was reading it it was just like some weird like we're just do you remember i don't know maybe not you remember the old free kevin bumper stickers it was like orange and then in black it said free kevin when kevin minnick was in jail back in no. 2000 and well probably 2000 the year 2001 yeah and it was super edgy to have that sticker on the side of your computer because <laughs> damn sure couldn't afford a laptop at that point in my life so i had this <laughs> big ugly Yep. Uh, all right. Box. Second so Russian message. On it. Second Russian message. It is a pity that I cannot speak now. I am late for the meeting. It will be released. I will definitely express my opinion. And then in English, plastic and metal in stud poker, for example, seven card stud, best essay writing service, 
<laughs> yeah, right. Uh, some of each participant's cards are laid face up on the table in order that. The, this is what this is what reminded me of of the smishing and bishing and all the other ishing things because like like reading these translated it's like here is a thing it's urgent you need to get in touch with me immediately it's something very important like you know the the semblance of urgency okay the next two are are entirely in Russian in my opinion you are making a mistake I propose to discuss it email me at p.m. please skip Wait, did we do this one already. No, it's a different one. Please skip. I ask for a diploma SFU, diploma rewarding, and here oh. a diploma M G I M O. Are they selling diplomas? Can I? Can you afford me that one? <laughs> if then you were going to buy a one. diploma in something, what would it be? Paleontology. <laughs> That's a good one. Yeah. Uh, the last one. Why is it so fired? I'm sorry, but I think you are wrong. I can prove it. <laughs> Email me at PM. We will talk. Diploma of the participant, spread of the diploma, and here is the diploma of a speech therapist. I feel like when you asked that question, I immediately thought, like, what's what's a what can I get a diploma in that I would be like very unlikely to run into someone else who would have like deep questions, right? So <laughs> Paleontology is the first thing that came to mind. Like, I, I definitely want to would want to be like English literature and like run into someone. They're like, oh, blah blah English literature stuff, blah blah, and I'd be like, uh. <laughs> I think what right? I love about that is you can't even come up with a thing I don't for them to be quizzing you about. <laughs> blah, blah, Shakespeare, maybe? <laughs> when English literature is such a huge genre, you could have named any book. <laughs> Literally any book. Oh no! I think I, I think we lost your sound, Gary. Did we? Oh no! There you are. Okay. You're just you're <laughs> I was just laughing quiet. so hard I was silent. <laughs> yeah, I was I was I was squealing. It was beyond the frequency it was, response. It was definitely was beyond the frequency of hearing. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, do we have a topic today, or are we just gonna? We do. Um, I mid Slack scramble managed to dig up one. <laughs> mid Slack uh, scramble. Yeah. <laughs> if if you said spam maybe? on Slack, is it slishing? <laughs> I don't like this. I don't like this. I neither. <laughs> um, now I've forgotten how to say it. Catacrasis. Uh oh. <laughs> Spell that for me. It might be catacrasis, actually. Uh oh. Anyway, C A T. C A T. A C R. Wait. C A T A C H R E S I S. C A T. This is a stage of growth for, um, like a uh, cat. A, well, caterpillar. <laughs> caterpillar and a cat. Too. Yeah. And have I told you growth. what Charlotte calls caterpillars? Hmm? Have I told you this? No. Charlotte calls caterpillars caterpillows. Caterpillows. I know. It's, it's so fucking. Cute. It's hard because it's just like, can you just never? I mean, you don't want her to keep saying it when she's older, because then she'll be made fun of. But at the same time, could be fun. Here's my strategy on that. Tyler used to call them fingers, right? Fingers. Uh, and we were like, well, eventually he's going to read it. And that'll be the time that he understands it as fingers. And until then, we're going to enjoy the ride. Yeah. And there was no conversation about it afterwards. Like, it was just like he started calling them fingers, and Ron and I were like, oh later on after he went to bed, but that was it. He wasn't like, found out today that it's actually F-I-N-G, not T-H-I-N-G. Yeah. <laughs> like, he's just like, oh, okay. Um, yeah. I'm going like to stage a complaint right now. I'm gonna, I want to stage a complaint right now as I'm setting up the uh, episode uh, template that uh, it sucks that you cannot tab after a YouTube embed block. Or Why hit enter, you? or hit enter. It just doesn't work. Like every other block in in Gutenberg, uh, yeah. if you hit tab or hit enter, it'll take you down to the next line. If you do that with a YouTube embed block, it just sits there. Ooh. Yeah, yeah. Um, really dumb. Do not like. That's I've the WordPress great, complaint. I don't want to talk about WordPress. Never mind. Right. <laughs> uh, Catacresis. Catacresis. 
Catacresis? Catacresis? Catacresis. So Katie did. Um, I don't think it's for caterpillars, though. I think this is like some other kind of insect. I think it's goes stage. It's a stage of growth for insects. And if it weren't that, I'm just it would be of really gross, terrifying things that I don't. Some want author to say I studied loud. in my English degree. <laughs> English. Yeah. Yeah. Also, I have an English degree, and like every English degree is different, so you could easily masquerade. You think so? I, I don't so. know that I can pull it off, honestly. I feel like I would be so intimidated. Like what you do, what you hmm, what books. you do. You just, you just need to you just need to read one book, yeah. just one book, really and well, read, and and then say that your thesis was on that book. So like my thesis was in Catcher in the Rye, and then I can just talk about just relate everything back to Catcher in the Rye, everything, always, all the time, every single thing. Just know that one book really well. Yeah, I actually have lots of opinions on technical literature, so there's that. That could be a whole thing. Some there's some universities where you come up with your own major. So, yeah, yeah, over here, creative arts in the digital revolution was my major. I f that fits you so well. <laughs> it does it's just like yeah, all please, the Chris were, things oh, wow. in one umbrella? That was really the point. Was all the Chris things in I mean, one? The umbrella. only thing that's missing is maybe like cats or like <laughs> animals or something. <laughs> cats cats are a recent phenomenon. There, yeah, cats are post college actually. Post college uh, development. Yeah, yeah. They're, they're my post Georgia has work. been parading around with. We have like a little toy stick with like a a piece of fabric hanging off of it, and she she like you know parades around the house like dragging it behind her, and she's so proud of it. And when she's done, she sets it by her food dish, and I it's just so fascinating. This like, well, of course she would store it there. It's her kill, you know, <laughs> but. But also, it's so fucking adorable. Juniper, um, one of her favorite toys is not a toy at all. In fact, it's just a scrap of this fake fur um, mm -hmm. stuff that uh, we, we have various scraps of because Lila likes making tails and, and ears, like cat ears and tails or fox ears and tails or whatever. Um, so we have all of this like fake fur all over and we have these little scraps. And so several, she has found, and now they're hers now. I mean, it's, there's no question that there's several scraps of this fake fur that you just, that are her favorite things to just bring around everywhere. But she has taken to, uh, and then like when she was a little bit younger, she would go into Lila's room, particularly like when we went away on trips, she'd go into Lila's room and find various, uh, um, just small like Beanie Boo stuffed animals and just like take them out and move them places. So we'd come back and there'd be these Beanie Boos all over the place. <laughs> um, and now, so we have a number of things that like, like those stuffed animals or like other uh, things she's got, like a, she had like a, a hat that was like a monster, like a Muppet monster kind of hat thing with these dangly things down and with little balls in. Um, so now what Juniper is doing is she we've stashed them all in one place like this is the this is the pile of stuff that needs to be sewed that will probably never sew. Um, and uh, she's taken to finding those things and just taking like just whatever is in that pile she just grabs and takes yeah. somewhere um, she she uh, she grabbed a, a blanket like there's one there's one blanket uh, that we have that she can carry and she should just was like every, in the morning we'll just find random stuff around the room that she's found in the night and decided that this is hers now. This is mine now. <laughs> and that is catacresis. That is when yeah. a cat claims something that is not cat-like or not necessarily a cat toy and claims it as their own. Catacresis is the process of something becoming a cat toy. Creasing. It is the creasing. <laughs> The creasing that doesn't sound right it doesn't i realized it when i said it but i was hoping that we could just move on <laughs> <laughs> that's not what we do at all <laughs> uh, i'm i'm extremely amped today <laughs> Extremely amped today. Um, a lot of extra copy, or you're just excited to see us, or or is it WordCamp? It's WordCamp, oh. like this oh. Q and A it has thing. Has nothing to do with us. 
<laughs> yeah. Like we recorded our thing and I'm like, ah, it's fine. Like I won't even show up the day of, right? And then I was reminded, well, no, there's a QA. and a Okay, well, okay, I'll show up for the Q&A. And I thought like, well, it's a Q&A. Like I'll just pop in. But in my head now, like it's become a thing and it's, I'm, I'm going to be exhausted by the time this is over. Can't be the time is your, day. what time is your Q and A? It's like 4.45 my oh, time geez. is when the, I know. Oh, I know. I've got a long way to go. I need to pace myself, but yeah, I'm going to have some caffeine at lunch. I'm uh some gingerbread. Oh, should I, why? should I pay attention to WordCamp today? No, okay. nope. I'm not. I'm literally going to be in one session, but, but also all right, I wasn't going to talk about it, but here we are. There's like this, like in the in the last like two weeks, there've been like, there continue to be more and more acquisitions, right? Yeah. Um, and and some of them, I think I actually think Sand Hills Sand Hill really kind of surprised me. Uh, not because like okay, they're they're a perfect target for acquisition. Doesn't surprise me. But what surprised me was the um, the post and and basically like you know CEO was like I'm not excited about developing for the internet anymore. Uh, and I haven't been for a couple of years. And like, part of me goes, well, like, how does that fit into this conversation we're having about like, it's gotten really fucking hard to just like write stuff because of Gutenberg and write mm-hmm. stuff that doesn't break, you know? Um, and uh, I mean, and we're saying, we're seeing that where I am, where it's like, oh, like, let's not screw with like meta related stuff. Let's just build our own API and get it out of WordPress entirely. We have this like entire infrastructure that's like it only exists to be like a core API where we can build data models in the shape we want and interact with them in the way we want because it's it's faster to do that than it is to do it within the context of, of WordPress. And it's like, so as WordPress like, you know, hits this astronomical climb, like that's super cool, but also like it's it's causing you know, disruption and people hate change. So people are not going to, right? Like that's the thing. So like, I, I'm still doing a very poor job of, of working on Gutenberg and I, I still am uncomfortable and slow at it. And I don't see that changing anytime soon. I just don't have any reason to be faster or better or, or care about content being entered that way, especially when the world I live in is, you know, e-commerce and you look at like a product model and that's definitely a bad fit for yes you know that kind of content management so um i think there's i don't know i think that maybe it doesn't matter who cares what some guy in a blue shirt thinks right but i uh my opinion uh about gutenberg the block editor uh at the beginning was especially when i had used it on several projects was that this is awesome we can tailor these blocks specifically to what people want and need. Um, and my opinion generally hasn't changed because that's still technically true. However, most people, like the majority of people, don't have the budget to uh, make use of Gutenberg in that way. And therefore, they are at the mercy of whatever shit they can find which is uh, subpar. I mean, yeah, on or subpar as compared to what else is out there. I mean, uh, like, well, yeah, let's go a step. Oh no, I don't know. Do we want to do this? Sure, let's do this, fuck it, why not? Like, let's go like a step further. And um, so I'm doing some freelance work uh, at an agency right now. And uh, and there, there's like, you know, the core Gutenberg blocks that have like a very, obvious interaction and they feel like they were well thought out and are part of the CMS. And then there's these ACF blocks that are registered that are like this like completely different like paradigm. And so if you're in a situation where you mix the two, you're like, what the fuck is this interface? And then in addition to that are other plugins that have other features that maybe work somewhere in a different way between the two. And it's like, this, this isn't better. This is like way worse. Now, instead of having one interface, I have interface plus x you know yeah. whereas at least with the old meta system like you know they might look a little different and yoast was 50 percent of every screen you looked at but you know at least like the input was was reasonably cons- oh yeah fuck yoast reasonably consistent um so yeah also you get into issues where like on this one. the existing core blocks aren't built out 
thoughtfully, like I, I had to rebuild a, like a cover block essentially mm. because their cover block doesn't have alt text. Like that's a basic thing. Why wasn't that even included in the, and they're like, oh, well, it's because it's supposed to be just for decorative. And I'm just like, well, but, but people don't. aren't you like that's not what people are actually using it for so that's you don't get to like, whatever that. it's in the next release that's not, and i'm like well too yeah. late i already had to build out the block like yeah right and now there's well whatever i disabled it so they can't choose <laughs> the other block but like hypothetically ugh, just so frustrating one. so do you remember um actually at this one chris we were we were sitting next to each other and um uh matt uh kicked off state of the word um, with, uh, any, and it was in Gutenberg, right? Um, mm -hmm. all right. So that it was like, it was this slide presentation in Gutenberg, like, all right, conceptually I'm totally there. Like that is a fantastic use case for this technology. Uh, it's super smart. Um, I'm working on the, um, uh, the training team. Um, and that's actually what I'm talking or talked about, or I, this is what the recording's about. Um, and, and so like the training team, like, there's a big marketing push to it. So the marketing push is like, hey, uh, their learner badges are coming so that you can sort of track like what you've learned, but also you can show potential employers like, hey, I know how to use the block editor because I've watched the following courses and I can do local development and I understand PHP and Composer and block, you know, or, or product or project management or uh, whatever. There's like, you know, a whole plethora of stuff uh, is the concept uh, for these learner badges, great. Um, so obviously like learner badges, like behind that is actual content. So the production of the content, the conversation is where does that, where do these slides live, right? Uh, there's like a quality requirement for people that are recording these videos, microphone, blah, blah, blah. Well, the slides are fucking living on Google right now. And I'm like, we are, it's dot org, like own your own content. There's this conversation about this plugin and it's like, well, Meta doesn't want to own the plugin. Great, you have developers on the learn team, make them own the plugin, right? Fine. Um, and so that's the current like thing that baffles me. And uh, and I'm ordinarily not this animated because I don't, it's just, I'm animated today because I'm just animated today. Um, but it, but also like, it's just baffling to me. Like, like why why would the default not be own the content? Mm -hmm. Like there's so much value in that. It's the whole from point translation of, perspective, from the accessibility whole promise perspective. of WordPress is own your own from content. From being able to use it in China perspective. Like that's a thing, like, cause Google ain't in China. Like that hasn't changed and we've all forgotten that. And it's like, whatever, you know? Um, so every time there's like a, like a meeting, I just ask about that. Like, is there any possibility of getting off Google slides so that we can make this globally accessible uh, and like have accessible content, easily translatable, blah, blah, blah. I just, I, I don't repeat the same thing, but you know, I'll pick at it from different ways. Uh, yesterday, I'm going to blame Slack for this. Yesterday, I'm like, cool. I'm going to do like a code review of this Slack plugin. Uh, so if anybody's interested, you can join me. And people were like, great. A couple of people were like, yeah, I will. So I posted like, here's my meet URL. And I hopped in and for 10 minutes, I sat there by myself. And I'm like, mm. this is the other side of what it means like to work in open source, right? Mm -hmm. The other side is like, uh, it's really easy to have um, opinions and ideas, right? Uh, it's, 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 it's more difficult to get consensus and actually move forward. Yeah. So like, uh, I don't know. I'm glad I got that out of my system. I actually care a lot less now. <laughs> yeah well i think that that like it's it's not a secret why um proprietary systems exist and succeed it's because they are able to make decisions yeah I mean, <laughs> um the other part of this that i realized uh i i'm back to doing like a stupid amount of walking have i have i warned you about this no i mean you haven't I warned you haven't us but like doing it just i mean we always assume crazy. you're continuing yeah. to walk Okay. Um, I did a hundred miles in September. Wow. Miles. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, which turns out to be like a lot of time. Um, which is like, <laughs> anyway, so I was thinking about like, uh, my current job and, uh, and I'm doing this like freelance thing on this, with this agency that I used to work with and I'm doing like some, you know, so that's catacresis. Yes. Uh, <laughs> And like obligatory, one of the realized, obligatory mention of the topic. <laughs> just need to bring Thank it in you. every once in a while. <laughs> yeah, appreciate it. Is um, one of the things I realized is that like somewhere in the past year, I've gotten to the point where I'm like, I've been able to finally, I've been, I've been trying to do it for so long. I've finally been able to be like, I'm not my job, you know. Mm. Um, like I've I've so often defined myself by 
my job, right? Like, like, like my title, like the work I put out, like the quality of the work, the value I feel in it, like, and, and that's like, I mean, that's obviously this just like deeply embedded um, capitalist thing, you know, that like hard days work, blah, blah, bullshit, right? Uh, hoorah. Um, and, and so being able to like, to like disconnect from that, like I'm still doing good work, like where I work and it's fine. But also like, I don't feel like I am, that's all, not all I am, but I don't feel like that's like the biggest part of who I am or even like the most important or maybe even top five, you know, like eating's cool, but like, at the end of the day, that's about, that's about the relationship I have here at this place. It's like, I need to do it because I need to feed my family. And, um, and uh, yeah, I mean, it's work that I enjoy and that's cool. And, and if it sucks sometimes, like, well, I can deal with a little bit of suck, but if it sucks too much, like I'll just go somewhere else, whatever. Um, so that, I guess that was some of that realization is that as I think about some of these bigger ideas about open source and stuff and like, interact and play with them to see where they lead me. Um, that just doesn't matter. It's like, just not, I, maybe I have killed the capitalist ego or maybe not killed it, but I'm, I'm, I'm holding it underwater right now and it's struggling. Hey, that's a gross <laughs> metaphor. Oh, I'm sorry. It's not the Shit. metaphor we should use. <laughs> this episode is just like, this I is had the bookend a... to the episode where I said that, uh, you don't have to repeat everything it. was rotten. Right. This is the other end. <laughs> I had a um, uh, I had a conversation the other day on Slack, work Slack about the capital P in WordPress, oh. um, because somebody made the the obligatory capital P dang it uh, yeah. comment, and and I said you know I used to get hung up about that, and then someone pointed out that it's super gatekeepy. Uh, and it made me rethink my own values and also that I have worked for places that would literally filter people out whether or not they had capital P in, in, on their resume. And like there, there could be a number of reasons why someone didn't put a capital P in their resume and is still a competent like WordPress, maybe not. I mean, ex let's just say it let's say you could be a competent WordPress expert and not spell WordPress with a capital P. I, I, there, I said it, I put it out there in the world. <laughs> uh, Whoa. This, it feels, it Whoa, feels weird though. It feels weird though. Controversial it feels opinion. Wrong. <laughs> like I held on to the belief that that was like the opposite of true. And like um, John uh, uh, Blackburn, who I respect a ton and work with and is an amazing human being, uh, basically said that at some point in some Slack ticket, no, Slack, a track ticket, I think, or somewhere that um, like if you're trying to show authority in, in knowledge about a thing, then it shows that you didn't actually pay attention, enough attention to know how to spell the thing correctly that you're trying to express authority in. And while I do think that at the time, which is like, I don't know, six, seven years ago at this point, um, there is value to that thought. There's also other context that that doesn't take into consideration. Um, so I've, I've flipped on my, on my, but it like, it made me realize, and I, that, then I went down a rabbit hole of like, like the history of the capital P and like why it matters. And the answer to the question of why it matters is because it matters to Matt. Um, that is the only reason why it matters. It doesn't matter in the software. It doesn't matter in, um, in the, uh, like the branding, it could be, you could be branded with a, with a, lowercase p just as easily as you could be brand i mean squarespace is like capital s lowercase s i mean you know like like not just because you're mashing two words together and you're trying to to say like well this is a space for squares um <laughs> <laughs> this is this is where we press oh, the man. words i it, 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 it doesn't give it any more like a jet pack is not a pack for jets i, I mean it just <laughs> I basically try to camel case anything now and it's problematic because not everybody does. <laughs> you know what's funny is that, um, I don't know what PSR it is. One of the PHP like coding standards has that, that casing, right? And that's what I tend to use in all my code, which is definitely not like WP standard, but WP would have you like, you know, function names are lowercase oh, underscore lowercase. lowercase under, yeah. 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 Uh, which is weird. Like, like, why aren't WP 
coding standards, why don't they match the trademark? Makes you wonder. Can you not just not you can't collect uh, royalties on that? So who cares? That's what it is. It's capitalism, man. Um, yeah, I also had to explain, uh, and because there's somebody who, who's legitimately like came from like Drupal background and didn't know the history, and so I was like talking to him about it, and it's the same person. I also had to explain that um, if you use WordPress in your uh, anywhere uh, that's not authorized by uh, the foundation, that they will come and try to take you down, uh, which is also like just dumb and arbitrary. Arbitrary. I won't say dumb. I'm not going to say dumb. I get it from the perspective of like, if you own a trademark, you have to enforce it. Yeah, sure. You know? but um, hey, I have two problems. Only? Um, at least two problems. Um, there you go. There you go. The first is I don't think that this new account of yours is going to time out. I don't know that that's accurate. Okay. But I'm nervous. Uh, when did we start? 11.09, my local time, is when the URL went in, the shiny new address, as to when we got started, probably within two or three minutes of that. What's your second problem? Yeah, what's your second problem? Oh, it's a lot more nebulous. My second... <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, okay, well, the first one, we just sort of have to wait and see. Um, <laughs> yeah. Um, my second one is, is, is cap, capital P, like... Um, I think logically, like we have outgrown the need for that, right? Like who gives a shit? You're absolutely right. There are companies though that we all worked for that like would throw resumes out and they wouldn't get good developers. But at the end of the day, it didn't matter because they there's there's an endless supply of the kind of developer that they want to hire. And so that is an arbitrary filter um, functions as a proxy for the kind of people that like geek out on silly, like inside baseball stuff within the industry. So there, for their purposes, like there is value in that. Is it like, are they eliminating developers that were going to be like, you know, a, amazing company changers? Like who cares? That's not what they want. Right. You know, like it's, it's a great filter because you want people that are going to color inside the lines there. I know, but that's like, that's disappointing as a whole, right? For yeah. the industry, as far as like longevity and sustainability. Um, it just, um, it just means that the people who don't fit those standards will be forced out of the quote unquote community. Um, whatever. Yeah, or they land somewhere better or, or they move on to a community that's not so dumb. <laughs> like, well, like that. Yeah. Like I think there's something to be said for that for sure. As I don't know, I have, I have so many feelings that I cannot sum up. And that's that's fair. That's totally fair. <laughs> Maybe in, in a the thesis statement, I can. <laughs> in the acquisition space we're in, right? Like agencies are not being acquired, which shows you the value in agencies. Like agencies are in the pyramid, they're the very bottom and who cares, you know? Or maybe the, I don't know. The bottom seems like it's important stability. A pyramid's a bad, a bad thing. So, ooh, there's a chat message. Yeah, I just said you might be right. I'm oh. looking at my profile. You didn't want to He's mumbling it it's, though. He doesn't want to admit it. it yeah. Really, it, it says that I'm licensed. I'll have to switch accounts next time. Uh, <laughs> all right. Well, in that case, since we're not going to get a countdown timer, uh, what is catacresis and how do you pronounce it? <laughs> <laughs> Cat catacresis? Catacresis? I don't know. Anyway, um, it's the use of a word in a way that is not correct. <laughs> So, so, the, so, so, so the, the cat that's using a toy that's not intended to be a toy is kind of kind of on the right track. really too meta for me. Yeah. I'm feeling it, called out. <laughs> <laughs> but it's often used in like a kind of like a mixed metaphor way or just like the incorrect word for a situation. So for instance, if it was like burglar preyed on the elderly and it was P-R-A-Y instead of E-Y. Yeah, I like, love preying okay. on the elderly. <laughs> Yeah. yeah. It was nice seeing you guys. <laughs> <laughs> Do we have any? We already read the the uh, spam. Uh huh. We have another spam, but it's in, oh, entirely in English. Um, it's actually from someone whose name is uh has the 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 name that is here is is the name of someone I think that I worked with uh, who is doing some MLM thing. So this actually might be legit. 
Um, <laughs> wait, wait, wait. It's still spam. Oh, yeah. It's for sure still spam. Okay. But it's like maybe actually from it's either spam from somebody who's spoofing themselves as someone that I used to work with uh, at Whole Foods uh, who's doing some MLM stuff, or it's actually that person uh, who's still doing some MLM Weird. stuff. Um, it says, hello, any small business owner knows that when you start a business, you're squeezing as much as you can out of every penny, but it's all too common, especially for inexperienced entrepreneurs to make financial missteps. I was wondering if I could write an article for your site outlining the most common business financial mistakes made by small businesses and how to avoid them. What do you think? Thanks for your time. Cameron Ward, bizwealthbuilder.com. No, thanks. Yeah. I I love these emails that are like, that I get every once in a while that are like, hey, I saw your site and I thought it was relevant to this thing that I wrote and I would love if I could write for your site or if you could like link to my article over here about something that's tangentially related to something you mentioned in a blog post from 2012. This is why the strategy of not owning a blog is paying off in dividends for me. (laughs) I post once every two years about, seems like plenty. Like plenty. I still haven't posted about changing jobs and something that I was going to write about, and then I just haven't. I, I feel like I feel like I wrote a lot of stuff about that when I was leaving, and like hmm. like all of the reasons and all the thoughts, and like there's some of those things that I don't necessarily want to put out there in the world, and so like the the idea of like talking about it publicly on my blog it just was and like figuring out what to say and what not to say was just so much just mental overhead that like this is this is the problem with blogs honestly (laughs) like there's so much just process in like what do I say and how much do I say and how deep do I get that it's just like nah fuck it bring back live journal (laughs) or 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 be a hermit that's yeah yeah I'm leaning way more into that like I'm not on LinkedIn I left LinkedIn behind and it felt so good. Instagram is apparently like a big thing where stuff happens. I don't know. I like Instagram, Um, but I don't know. I curate my feed. So it's like pretty things. Yeah. I guess maybe, maybe I'll notice it because where I work, people are always talking about like something a client did, did or said on Instagram and blah, blah, blah. And, and if they link to it in Slack, I cannot view it because you cannot, click and open it without an account. So I'm like, wow, I didn't realize that. Ignorance is, is, I mean, it doesn't, like if it's really important, like, and it affects development, like it'll get ticketed and I'll deal with it then. But yeah. like for now, like, okay. Also, do and you, I, if you, so if you have an Instagram account but you don't have a Facebook account, you can't pay for advertising on Instagram. Hmm. One of my clients found that out. She doesn't. Oh, have I was going to ask if you figured that out yourself for uh, Tech Kevin, but I don't guess you don't really advertise for that. No, but like because she doesn't have a Facebook account on purpose, but she has an Instagram account, even though it's like dwindling. But she was like, "Oh, maybe I'll pay for advertising," and you couldn't unless you had like the full business account page yeah. and everything on Facebook. Crazy. And she was just um, like, "It's too bad because I'm trying to give them money essentially." Right. <laughs> yeah, I, I have. To, I uh, have uh, undercut a- the Facebook ad infrastructure with their like opt-in thing um it's i mean it's apparently like significant in the drop in metrics that advertisers can now access on facebook um so all right so since uh since we actually have to click an end uh, yeah it is sad (laughs) i like it much better when when it's when it just randomly drops us Mm -hmm. i will definitely log into the other to my personal account uh next week Okay, sounds good. It was really good seeing you all. I look forward to doing it yeah. next week. I've never had a goodbye in a binary jazz. It's so <laughs> bizarre. I just we don't can know just how keep to keep talking until you hit I don't know how to. <laughs>Thank you for listening to Binary Jazz. If you like this episode, you can subscribe to us on iTunes, Google Play, Spotify, and Stitcher. You can visit us online at binaryjazz.us or follow us on Twitter at at binaryjazz. 
Don't forget that you can ask us a question through the forum on the website or on Twitter, and we'll read it aloud on the next episode of Binary Jazz.